G'day John for the hot end. This is video three of the series for the E-Cube Maker Toy Die 4-in-1 printer laser CNC machine. We did the first video on the first look and the put together of the machine. The second video was the 3D printing capabilities of the machine. The link's in the description. We've moved outside because this is going to create smoke and all sorts of stuff. So I've already installed the laser tool head. That's a two minute job. So we're now going to set it up to laser on a piece of the whatever this is that came with the printer. It looks like a dense cardboard to me. So that'll be the first test print and the test print file is actually on the SD card. So let's get started and see how it works. Now in the book it says place the objects on the platform. Okay, we can do that. Now I'm suggesting that we put a bit of tape on there so that it doesn't move about it at all. This is just masking tape, painter's tape, we call it what you will. Next, uh, auto home center, so we need to turn it on. So on the menu we have laser print guide, it says step one, place objects, step to auto home center. So we want that in about the center. Yeah, this is the slow part, so talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back. So now we're coming down. We're going to home on our piece of cardboard. that's done. Now it doesn't say so in the instructions but as I said before with the dual axis I like to check that our X rail is level. So there we have 151 150 Close enough, close enough. The next thing is laser pre-scan and this tells us where it's going to do its design. I can see a dot dotting and Finding the middle, and those chickens next door are going nuts. Somebody just laid an egg. So I think we're pretty much in the middle. We're going to go to the next one, which is set origin. So set origin, click set origin to save the current positioning. Okay, well we did that, done. So now we can go to the SD card, laser engraving test safety goggles. Classy. And here we go. That's a very, very fine laser point. There is a focus ring on the laser inside the, the head, but that doesn't need focusing, that looks fine. So, let's have a closer look. Okay, there you can see it's 
started doing whatever is on the card. I don't know what it is yet. Now this is going to take a little while, so I'll come back when it's about half done. Just a quick update as to how it's running. As you can see, it's the EQ Maker logo and another design, and we're currently 9% in. So we'll give you another look shortly. That's 50%. And the dog next door is giving me the. is very unpleasant. Ninety-nine per cent. Yes, next door's dog still barker. And done. Shut down. Congratulations, later laser test printing completed. Didn't give me a time though, so I think it was around about three hours for that. And we'll just see if we can get you in so you can get some detail. All in all, that's pretty nice. Very fine, very accurate. And now what I'm going to do is do a file on their slicer and I'm going to make it instead of 10 lines per millimeter I'll make it five lines per millimeter and instead of a thousand millimeters a minute we'll make it 2,000 millimeters a minute and we'll see how that turns out. Now let's see what we get Bearing in mind that the slicer doesn't allow you to adjust the power of the laser, just the speed. So we've doubled the speed and halved the accuracy and we'll see what happens. Right, we proceeded with the laser engraver and I was able to get out some really nice pictures from the laser. Uh, the ones you're seeing here, the first one is the test file that was on the SD card and as you can see the detail and, and, and the, the intensity of it is really, really nice. But as I said earlier, there, there's very little that you can adjust with the laser. Uh, basically all you can adjust is the speed. You cannot adjust the power of the laser. So what I did was I adjusted the speed to double and I adjusted the image quality to twice, to sorry, half as many lines per millimeter. So instead of 10, I made it five lines per millimeter and that's what I got on that setting which is okay it's it's a little lighter as you can imagine but still the details there and and very nice then I moved on to a piece of plywood and the first one was a fail because I had some background contrast on the picture the second one came out beautifully uh, you'll all recognize the character that's just a simple JPEG that I downloaded from the internet banged it through their software and that's what I got and I've got to say that that 
is really nice. It's a very sharp, clear uh, etching, if you like, uh, from the original picture. Unfortunately, that's all this laser can do though. It's, it's low power and its lack of adjustments mean that all you can really do is pictures. It won't cut anything, it just hasn't got the power. You can't do multiple passes with it unless you were really, really careful that nothing moved and you just re-ran the file again. But even then, you'd be struggling to even cut paper with it. It is purely and simply a burn-in etcher for pictures. But for what it is, yep, it looks great. It's a great job. Okay, that's it for the laser. Now we're going to move straight on into the CNC. CNC time. I'm out here in the garage, so the lighting's not real brilliant, nor the audio, so bear with me. I've changed out the tool head to the CNC tool head. I've taken the heated bed off. I've put the CNC metal plate on with the hold downs. I have the piece of Perspex that came with the machine. And I have the SD card with the file on it, which is the test file. Now, there's no auto leveling for the CNC part of it. So it's important to get the gantry level with the frame and the bed because you're only looking at a 0.2 engraving on here so it has to be level. All right, I'm going to get started. I think this is going to be loud. Okay, I've selected CNC carving test. Let's go. Okay, I've got a bit of plywood down here. I imported a just normal JPEG file into the eCubeWare software for CNC and sliced it and have it on this card now and I have no idea what's going to happen. That went well. I managed to get a couple of carvings done, which I'll give you close-ups of, until I started experimenting with other things and broke the tip off the carving tip. Anyway, I think I've done enough here for you to get the idea. All right, we're gonna move back inside and finish up. Right, we're back inside, and I'm a bit dirty that I broke that uh, um, what do you call those things? Tool head, whatever. The thing that cuts the CNC bit. As you can see, I know a lot about CNC. But anyway, I managed to get the file from the SD card to carve out uh, very nicely. And then I moved on to the JPEG image that I sliced with the eCubeWare software. And this is what I came up with for that. Now again, as you can see, an engraving it's not a carving. 
In order to do anything embossed or 3D with multi levels of engraving to make it a carving, the software, the eCubeWare software has a beta version of a carving program, but I couldn't get it to work. That's how I broke the tool. It then it directs you to Fusion 360 if you want to do three-dimensional carvings and to be honest I'm, I have no idea how to use Fusion 360 so for a CNC engraving not carving it did quite well I'd like to be able to do some carving with it but I just can't so as far as a CNC machine goes very limited in its present form anyway that's it for this video and this set of three videos don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time.